Not very large, yet quite exquisite. Uh, a beautiful example of wolfenite from the Tsumeb mine in Namibia. Now, I very seldom find wolfenite crystals from this deposit that are intact. And there you have a, a thin little plate of wolfenite sitting in this matrix. Now, the core matrix may, may have some a little bit of galena in it. It's not all that heavy, though. Perched on top of that would be dolomite crystals or maybe calcite, maybe even smithsonite. I'll look under closer magnification. Of course, Tsumeb is best enjoyed when magnified, yet this piece is appealing as is. And uh, let's just see how close we can get to have a closer look at that little vug. But I think you can even zoom into the still pictures on this guy. Wolfenite, dolomite on a, on a grey matrix, offsetting it beautifully. Now, from a display point of view, it would stand like this, going around like that. Actually, it wouldn't stand like that. It maybe would stand like this. So I'd have it on a stand, going around like that, going across like that. And then looking from the top down, this is the effect we'd have. Look at that formation of the calcites or the, the dolomites with these, these little uh, these wolfenite crystals inside there. And there's something else over there as well. Um, that's the thing about Tsumeb, under magnification. Um, what you see in, in magazines, a lot of the, especially the very rare minerals, you'll find these blown up pictures, which are actually millimeters in size. And that's the kind of thing you find in these these cavities if you explore.